What's up everyone, this is BlueX here, and welcome back to Zoophile Alert series. Last time I made my first episode of that series, it was last year in March, if I remember correctly, where I responded to one of the Zoophiles on my YouTube comments section. But this time, in this episode, we're going to be responding to every single Zoophiles across the internet, not just YouTube. So we'll be starting off by Twitter. Oh, sorry, I meant X now because, you know, dumb name, Elon Musk, damn you. Okay, let's respond to the first zoophiles. Yippee Kaye. Animals can't consent, but they can show emotion. They can show when they're scared. They can show when they're happy. They can tell us by their actions. Animals can consent. Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not a complete retard. Okay, can we get this out of the fucking way because he was proven to be a goddamn moron? Just because a little dog wants to stick their tongue out all the damn time and wag their tail around doesn't mean they want to suck your disgusting vitamin D, you nasty prick. How about you go to the woods and never come back, you disgusting waste of semen. I was an anti zoo before I found out I was a zoo, and to be honest, the zoo community is really nice and accepting. Hashtag zoo, hashtag zoophile, hashtag zoosexual. A very low IQ person. Oh, you poor unfortunate soul. Here, let me give you a cure for that type of disease. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is! As Pride Month is coming to a close, now is a good time to mention that Sue's sexuality is inherently queer. We've always been part of the Q+, and always will be. There's nothing wrong with you, and you'll have every right to be proud. Sue right! Hashtag Sue Pride! Hashtag wherever the fuck this is! Hashtag Sue Sexual! Hashtag LGBTQ! You are made of stupid. Bro, are you trying to label yourself as part of the LGBTQ right now? I don't want you. Even they don't even want you, fool. I'm sick and tired of these zoo motherfuckers trying to pass themselves as part of the LGBTQ. Like, holy fuck. Do me a favor and never breed again. Because we don't need another generation of these zoo motherfuckers. Get the fuck out. And he's looking for the most obscure and unused zoo flags in existence to represent us in their memes. Did you just roast yourself? I'm sensing a lot of projection around that tweet, but this is kind of pathetic that zoos think it was somehow valid and that's some sort of a gotcha moment, but reality they're just becoming more and more degenerate each and passing day. Kinda sad really. This is going to be a final tweet I'm going to be responding, made by Polygon. The hottest Disney animal characters rank and scientifically explain for why some people find at No, just... No, fuck off. That's a whole fucking lie in my dude, holy fuck. I think that would be a nub zoo cancer for today. If you want to see more of the Zoo File Alert series episodes, let me know in the comments section down below if you want to see more. And I'm afraid that will be enough. If you enjoyed this video, if you do, give a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification kitchen bells for my future videos. Zoo Files are nothing more than disgusting purge that needs to be eradicated. And that will be enough. Take care, I guess.